Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 29, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're willing to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the gripage pound in the US dollar. And as you can see, we did rally up towards the 100 moving average and then absolutely got crushed at the 100 moving average. And now we're trading underneath 150. So at this point, it kind of looks like we are heading back towards the 200 moving average. But still, this is fairly oversold at this current stage. So uh, we may as well uh, stabilize within this uh, area for some time. Otherwise, if we fall, then we'll most likely find massive support down here at 1379. If we were to rally above the 100 moving average, then we're most likely going to go to the 50 up here at 14. Oh, Oh, 05 and if 50 if 50 moving average breaks then we're going back towards these previous size if you look at the technical indicators we can see that macd is still bearish the rsi is flat the cci is bearish the casting is bearish and here in the bullinger band we can see that we tried to rally up towards the middle and got really rejected here so we may well pull back towards these previous lows here at 1380 and um, we'll also find the 200 moving average here but at that point RSI will be very low and we'll mostly have a rally to the upside then. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. And as you can see, we also tried to rally here and absolutely turned around at the end of the session. And now it looks like we're going back towards the middle of the Bullinger Band. And that is a drop of roughly 0.33% uh, to the downside. So it is ha this has been rallying for quite some time. It has been bouncing off the 40 and the 20 exponential for uh, for the last few uh, few weeks um but at this point technical indicators are turning around macd is still bullish but it is turning around here the rsi uh, which was uh, over bought at this point here is now at 62 and um, the question is whether or not we break below the 20 exponential uh, and head towards the bottom of the bullinger band that could be and that basically means that we'll drop towards the 100 moving average, give or take, or the 50 moving average. But we haven't tested that for a very long time. It's We have to go all the way back here in order to see uh, us testing the 100 moving average. So the 50 moving average should actually be the bottom of this market. But if you look at CGI, CGI it is also bullish at this point, but stochastic is really turning around. So we may see this a pullback towards the 40 or the 50 and then turn around uh, like we have been doing uh, for the last uh, basically uh, month and a half so let's look at the us uh, euro us dollar and it is really struggling to get past the 300 moving average we are going to have it looks like we're going to have the crossing of the 20 and the 300 moving average in the next few days and that will be even more bearish for uh, this currency pair if we break down from here and take out these previous lows, then we are going significantly lower. But we are fairly oversold in the RSI. So if there is going to be a drop, it probably won't be a massive drop. It'll probably be a retesting of these previous lows. Same goes here for the Bullinger Band. If we drop towards this level here, we're getting very close to the bottom of the Bullinger Band. But we are really struggling at the 300 moving average. If we were to see a rally, we probably would have seen it uh, somewhere here. But um, yes, it is to be seen. Otherwise, other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, still bearish. The RSCCI is bearish. The stochastic is becoming flat at this point. It looked like it was going to rally significantly, but it's turning around here. And that is not a very good indication. So there's a lot of resistance above here. We have to get all the, uh, through all these moving averages in order to go back. To the previous highs here so let's look at the uh, Aussie dollar US dollar we're down 0.28% it got rejected here at the middle of the bullish band and now it looks like we're heading back towards the 300 moving average if the 300 basically breaks then we are probably looking at a massive drop towards uh, 71 if we rally above the 20 exponential then we're going to 50 and then beyond but technical indicators they do favor the downside at this point so we may see this retest the 300 moving average and then um, bounce again but a break of the 300 and we can see this really tumble to the downside macd is flat 
RSI is flat, CTI is bearish, and the stochastic is becoming bearish and crossing the signal line yet again. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. This has bounced from the 20 exponential. And now it's becoming uh, um, it look, looking more bullish, to be fairly honest. But it is technically stuck between the 20 exponential and the 100 moving average. It has not managed to break above it. It has not managed to break underneath the 20 exponential. And uh, at this point, it's just a waiting game to see whether or not we continue this rally to the upside or we break down and uh, and enter this channel yet again. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat. CCI, RSI is also flat. CCI is still bullish. And stochastic is turning around here, becoming bullish. And we did not even touch the middle of the bullish band. And now we're heading, it looks like, we're heading back up towards 1250. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.